Welcome to Ireland, the land of a thousand welcomes, where lush landscapes meet vibrant culture. Tucked away on the fringe of Europe, this small island is brimming with charm and character, offering an irresistible blend of history, heritage and hedonism. From the craggy cliffs that guard its western shores to the bustling cities that pulse with life, Ireland is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. As we embark on this virtual journey, we'll be exploring 10 of Ireland's most captivating destinations, each with its own unique allure. Picture yourself wandering through the atmospheric streets of Dublin, marvelling at the natural beauty of Glendalough, or standing atop the iconic Cliffs of Moher. Imagine the thrill of exploring the Giant's Causeway, the medieval charm of Kilkenny, the cultural richness of Galway, and the outdoor paradise of Killarney National Park. Dream of the coastal gem that is the Dingle Peninsula and the historic Blarney Castle. Our journey begins in the heart of the country, Dublin. Dublin, Ireland's capital, is a UNESCO city of literature, brimming with history and culture. The city's literary heritage is a tapestry woven with threads from the works of literary giants like James Joyce, Oscar Wilde and Samuel Beckett. Walking through the city, you might stumble upon the iconic Trinity College, which houses the Book of Kells, an illuminated manuscript dating back to the 8th century. The college's old library is a dreamy labyrinth of ancient books, a testament to Dublin's deep-rooted love for literature. But Dublin isn't just about highbrow culture, it's also a city that knows how to have a good time. The city's vibrant pub culture is a testament to this, with traditional Irish music filling the air and pints of Guinness flowing freely. Dublin is a city where old world charm meets modern vibrancy, a place where each cobblestone and corner tells a story. From the lively city, we now venture towards serenity to the tranquil Glendalough. Welcome to Glendalough, a glacial valley renowned for its stunning beauty and historical monastic settlement. Nestled in the heart of the Wicklow Mountains, Glendalough, or the Valley of Two Lakes, is an idyllic escape where nature and history intertwine. The valley's scenic beauty is second to none. With lush greenery, shimmering lakes and cascading waterfalls painting a picture of serene tranquility. But it's not just the breathtaking landscapes that make Glendalough special. The valley is also home to a significant monastic settlement dating back to the 6th century. Founded by St Kevin, an Irish saint, the monastery stands as a testament to Ireland's rich and vibrant history. For those with a taste for the outdoors, Glendalough offers a host of activities. From tranquil walks along the lakes to challenging hikes up the mountain slopes, there's something here for everyone. Leaving the serene valley behind, we now head west to the dramatic cliffs of Moher. Uh, the Cliffs of Moher, one of Ireland's most visited natural attractions, offers breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean. Rising majestically from the sea, these towering cliffs span eight kilometers. Their jagged edges a testament to the raw power of nature. Formed over 300 million years ago, they are a geological masterpiece, a captivating blend of shale, sandstone and silt stone. The cliffs are also a sanctuary for over 20 species of seabirds, including the Atlantic Puffin, the Razorbill and the Guillemot. Their melodious calls add a vibrant soundtrack to an already awe-inspiring view. Nature and bird enthusiasts alike will find this place a haven of biodiversity. Nestled into the hillside, the eco-friendly visitor center is a marvel in its own right. Built into the landscape, it houses a wealth of information about the cliff's history, geology and wildlife. 
The cliffs of Mohair are a testament to Ireland's inherent beauty and resilience, a must visit for any traveller. From the rugged cliffs, we travel north to the mystical Giant's Causeway. The Giant's Causeway, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a geological marvel with a mythical charm. This stunning formation on Ireland's northeast coast is a spectacle of around 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic eruption. These columns, most of which are hexagonal, create an almost stair-like structure that disappears into the sea, a sight that has to be seen to be truly believed. But the Giant's Causeway isn't just a geological wonder. It's also steeped in mythology. According to legend, these peculiar formations were the handiwork of the Irish giant Finn McCool who built the causeway to challenge his Scottish rival. Beyond these impressive columns, the site also offers a beautiful coastal walk. The path winds along the cliff edge, offering breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean and the rugged Irish coast. From the coastal marvel, we now head south to the historical city of Kilkenny. Kilkenny, a medieval city, is home to well-preserved churches, castles, and cobbled lanes. This charming city is a time capsule, offering a glimpse into Ireland's past through its stunning architecture. The cityscape is dominated by medieval structures, each with their own tale to tell. Venture into the heart of the city and you'll find Kilkenny Castle, an imposing fortress that was constructed during the 12th century. With its grand halls and Vedant gardens, it's a testament to the grandeur of Ireland's bygone era. But Kilkenny is not just about the past. The city boasts a vibrant art scene, with galleries and workshops dotting its narrow lanes. It's a city that celebrates creativity, where traditional crafts meet contemporary artistry. The charm of Kilkenny lies in its blend of history and modernity, the way it cherishes the old while embracing the new. It's a city that promises an unforgettable experience for every traveller. Leaving the medieval city, we now journey to the cultural hub of Galway. Galway, Ireland's cultural heart, is known for its vibrant lifestyle, art scene and lively festivals. This city, straddling the River Corrib, is a tapestry of music, performance and visual arts with creativity woven into its very fabric. Its streets echo with the tunes of buskers, artists sketching passers-by and performers entertaining the crowds. It's not unusual to stumble upon spontaneous displays of music, dance or theatre while strolling through the city centre, but the crowning jewel in Galway's cultural crown has to be the annual Galway International Arts Festival. For two weeks every July, the city becomes a global stage, attracting artists, performers and visitors from around the world. From world premiere plays to awe-inspiring street spectacles, the Galway International Arts Festival is a feast for the senses that perfectly encapsulates Galway's celebration of creativity and culture. From the cultural city, we now venture to the scenic Killarney National Park. Killarney National Park, Ireland's first national park, is a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. Nestled in the heart of County Kerry, this lush oasis is a treasure trove of diverse flora and fauna. It's home to red deer, the only indigenous species of deer left in Ireland, and a myriad of bird species that fill the air with their melodious songs. The park is also famed for its scenic beauty. The three lakes of Killarney, all interconnected, mirror the azure sky above and the verdant woodland around, creating a breathtaking spectacle. Adding to this allure are the enchanting waterfalls that cascade down the mountains, their soothing sounds echoing through the valleys. But that's not all. The historic Muckross House, a 19th century Victorian mansion stands as a testament to the region's rich history. 
its well-preserved interiors and landscaped gardens transport visitors back in time, offering a glimpse into the opulent lives of the past. Leaving the natural beauty behind, we now head to the picturesque Dingle Peninsula. The Dingle Peninsula, with its rugged cliffs and sandy beaches, is one of Ireland's most picturesque regions. This coastal gem tucked away in the southwest corner of Ireland boasts a landscape filled with stunning vistas that are a feast for the eyes. Imagine yourself on a scenic drive along the Sleahead Drive, a circular route that brings you face to face with the Atlantic Ocean. As the salty sea breeze fills your lungs, you'll navigate through winding roads carved into the cliff's edge, each turn revealing a new breathtaking view. Next, delve into the ancient past with the peninsula's rich trove of archaeological sites. The Galerus Oratory, an early Christian church, and the Dunbeg Fort, a prehistoric fortress, are but two of the many historical gems that dot the landscape. The charming town of Dingle itself is a treasure trove, brimming with colourful buildings, vibrant pubs and friendly locals. It's the perfect spot to unwind after a day of exploration. From the coastal gem, we end our journey at the iconic Blarney Castle. Blarney Castle, home to the famous Blarney Stone, is a place of mystery, magic and eloquence. Nestled in the verdant Irish countryside, this historic stronghold dates back more than six centuries, carrying with it tales of ancient kings, legendary battles and enchanting folklore. The castle isn't just a relic of the past, it's a living testament to Ireland's rich cultural heritage, witnessed in the meticulously preserved architecture and the thriving gardens that surround it. From the intoxicating poison garden filled with deadly botanicals to the tranquil rock clothes, a garden shrouded in Celtic mysticism, Blarney Castle is a feast for the senses. But the real star of the show is the Blarney Stone. Perched high in the castle's battlements, it's said that anyone who kisses this legendary stone is bestowed with the gift of the gab, a talent for eloquent speech. As we conclude our journey, remember that Ireland's charm lies in its people, its stories and its breathtaking landscapes.